As you may recall from my Iowa Agricultural Commission Milton Milton Award for video game journalism winning review of Bombastic, the game where demi-demons run around on giant dice and make them explode because the techno backbeat commands them to do so, I find that game to be really, really fun. And not just because cute things were running around on exploding dice, but I also mentioned that Bombastic featured another, slower-paced rule set based on its original incarnation, Devil Dice. This is that original incarnation. If anything, it shows that the awesomeness of Bombastic wasn't just a fluke, it was a direct continuation of ideas that started here. Fine by me, mate. Just set me on a die and let me go on a tear. Rather than the swelling and exploding chaos of Bombastic, Devil Dice is more mellow, preferring instead to sink dice into the ground. You do this by connecting X dice with X as their top face. While they're sinking, you can add more dice to the combo or use it as a stair to descend to the floor of the level. From the ground floor, you can push dice around so as not to change their faces, though this is much slower than just rolling them around from the top side. Unfortunately, both feel less than accurate owing to the primary improvement that Bombastic made, support for analog control. Devil Dice is an original PlayStation game can't into joystick and just presumes that up actually means up and to the right, forcing you to hold the controller at a 45 degree tilt if you want accurate representation of your input. But I'm willing to forgive the lack of control in light of everything else the game tries to do. You want five player head to head to head to head to head? You got it, complete with a hit point based system that rewards big combos and running your opponents down with dice if they dare to travel to the floor. There are move-limited puzzle sequences that unlock a gallery of artwork, the standard time-unlimited score challenge, time-limited score challenges, a head-to-head -head challenge against a CPU opponent. It's a solid, densely packed offering capped off with a soundtrack that, while not as well choreographed as some of Bombastic's routines, certainly laid the groundwork. Think hard if you're going to pick up this version, though, as pretty much every aspect was improved by its successor, a game which happens to be fairly easy to find used for an almost criminally low price. Still collectors and hardcore nerds tracing the lineage of dice-based puzzle games will want to put this one right next to, well, Palamedes. Palamedes.